Okay guys, we're starting a whole nother video. Uh, me and Michael just did a video. This is a whole nother one, same day, but I wanted to kind of split them up because I have a, a lot of stuff to cover. So first off, we actually do have some shirts up here in the store now. So these are all basically pop culture, video game. You got Link, you got a Venom in there, Space Jam, Charizard, Animal Crossing. All of these are gonna be that type of shirt, Avengers, and these are gonna be two for 20 bucks. So Michael, thank you very much for helping me with all that. This was a lot of work. I had to like, get these, clean them, make sure that all the, you know, little fuzz balls were off of and stuff like that. I get a lot of these at Goodwill and things like that, so I want to make sure that they were clean. And then we do have a package to open up and a huge trade to go through. So this package is from my friend Brett, and I have no idea what's in here. He just said, hey, I want to send you a package. Just a congratula congratulatory? That's what I want to say. Congratulations of this on the store? What would you say, Michael? A congratulatory package, right? A congratulatory no. package. I don't think That's so. what we're going with. Now, Webster's well, Dictionary. <laughs> It'll have it in there. You so, wait. I, I genuinely have no idea. Brett, thank you so much for this. He actually gifted me his his first game he ever bought as a kid. He gave me that game. It was Turok on the Game Boy Color. I was like, do you know how to give me that? He's like, no, nah, dude, I think it's cool. So let's see what is in this guy. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous when I have literally no clue at all. Oh gosh, what are you? All right, we have a, we have just a manila folder, not folder, package. Right here we have Aladdin, okay. Aladdin, it, it appears to be CIB, Ooh. I think, yeah, I think it is. Ooh, that's a good one. Captain America and the Avengers? Thank you, I don't think I have this. I might keep this for my own personal collection, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, there's a note too. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. More Sega. We have, uh, looks like some kind of flight simulator game. Jurassic Park. Case in game only. Lion King, case in game only. All right, we got some loose games. Street Fighter 2, always a classic. Street Fighter 2 on the Genesis. Ooh, Beauty and the Beast. I think I actually have this, I have the case for this at home. So we'll try to add that together. Uh, Ren and Simpy, I think that's just Simpy's invention. Jungle Book. And then we have, let's get to this note. Let's see what it says. It says, Rick, I could not be more excited for you with this whole new store. Here are a few items for my collection that I would like to donate. Keep them or sell them. Awesome. It'll do whatever you want with them. Your channel and your spirit have been such an inspiration for me and so many others. Uh, love you and all what you do. Keep killing it. Big dog. Brad. Thank you so much, man. I think there's one more thing in here. All right. And we have, looks like some disc-based games. We got Omega Boost. Here we have Splinter Cell, PS2, and ah, this game, Star Wars Revenge, Racers Racer Revenge. Oh yeah. And then here is something in here as well. Okay. All right, we got we got Area 51 for okay, the Saturn. Good. Awesome. All right, Brett, thank you so much for the, all that stuff. Now let's get into this trade-in that we also have no idea what's in there. Yeah. So. This was a trade that came in a couple days ago and we paid 700 bucks for this. And I was not here. I was like, what you all pay 700 bucks for without me around? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. I don't know what's in here, but they said that we did good. So let's get into this. This was not part of it. These are the breakfast, the breakfast bowls from back when me and Michael were kids. Uh -huh. That was something I picked up at a flea market. I don't know why those are in here. So we got a Mario Kart live home circuit, a little set right here. Uh, these sell for, I think we sell these for about 60 bucks or so. So that's pretty cool. And okay, so this Paper Mario, the thousand year door, not not 10,000 year door. I always see 10 for some reason. I was like, Paper Mario, 10,000 year door? No, it's the thousand year door. This is like, I wanna say this is like 60 bucks there. I have no idea. I think they sell for right around that. We have a Lego Star Wars CIB. It appears, little uh, GBA game. We got a, what is that, World Poker Tour on GBA. Now you don't see Balloon Fight too terribly often on the NES, so you got a couple of the uh, black box games. You got Pinball, you got Balloon Fight, Balloon Fight, yeah, Balloon Fight, and then Mario, Classic Turtles. Now if you ever see this game right here on PS2, pick it up. Vice City 
uh, stories on the PS2 sells for a ton. I don't know how much it sells for on the PSP, but I'm assuming it sells for at least a decent amount. Ocarina of Time. Michael, did you ever play that one? I'm right in the middle of it right now, actually. Nice. Yeah. Great. Water Temple yet? Not yet. Freaking Water Temple, man. So hard. Got a Pokemon Yellow. Here is, ooh, this is kind of cool. Here's a GBA Ultimate Spider-Man game. That's pretty cool to have CIB. Anytime you find like CIB stuff, a lot of times I'll keep it for my own personal collection because it's just hard to find a lot of these games still intact. You know, they're cardboard. Got a bunch of manuals in there, Mario Party manual. That's sweet, gotta have those. And then, yeah, just keep digging. I'll kind of show you anything that's kind of more notable. You know, that's kind of a cheaper game. Ghosts and Goblins is good. Uh, Mickey Mania is pretty rad. The Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse. Wing Commander, Magical Quest is solid. Ooh. Ooh. Final Fight 2. Will, how much does it go for? Was this one like 150 ish or something? Uh, Final Fight 2, that's a big one. Donkey Kong Country 2, the classics in here as well. Uh, ooh, Mario's Time Machine, I think I have the box for that. We can complete that guy and put that out as a CIB copy. So a lot of Super Nintendo, a lot of Super Nintendo stuff in here. Okay, old man knees are hurting. I'm gonna go up to, to, to up here. What, what, how much does Final Fight 2? 55. 55. I was way off. <laughs> no, All right, I'm gonna fun. put some of these up here on the counter because my legs are hurting. Look at all the SNES games, man. Okay, we have the gold uh, Zelda 2 Mock Rider. Ooh, here we go. Punisher, solid. Adventure Island is great. Ooh, look at this. At one point, this F Zero was 50 cents at someone's yard sale. I would have loved to pick that up for 50 cents. A bunch of 50 cent games. Look at all these. 50 cent games are my favorite. Donkey Kong, Mortal Kombat. So this is one, I don't know if I've ever played. This is Power Rangers, the fighting edition. Uh, nothing really to know in here, except for Punch Out, Super Punch Out. Tetris Attack actually makes um, top 25 lists for Super Nintendo of all time. I've never played it. I would think there's other games other than Tetris Attack to make it make that list, but people love that game. All right, we got a couple uh, disc-based games. NASCAR Heat 02. I don't think I've seen that one before. Um, Royal Combat, just all the classics. Ooh, that's a big one. This is Space Station Silicon Valley. I wanna say, wait a minute. Hey, didn't we get this box? I know that CIB, this thing is worth a ton. Okay, Turok Blitz Star Wars Episode Racer. Here are a ton of PS2 games. Probably the best ones in this stack, yeah. Resident Evil 4, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Going Commando, and Size Matters. Those, both of those are incredible games. Time Splitters as well is really good. I'm feeling good so far. I mean, 700 was a lot to spend uh, on all this stuff, but I'm definitely seeing us being able to make something uh, on this stuff for sure. I know I say it all the time, but basically we need to be at least 50% um, in order to actually make any money on everything. We're paying overhead, we're paying rent, we're paying all these these crazy guys money because they. I guess you guys want to get paid every once in a while? Yeah, I suppose. Okay, thanks, Garrett. <laughs> Garrett's like, I need to eat food. Pay, please pay me. Um, this looks like a game. You, 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 have you played this one before? Oh, I love that game. Nino Cooney, is yeah, that what you saying? Garrett, guys, Garrett knows it all. He knows all. Love that stuff. One of my favorite games of all time, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <laughs> I actually played it on the Genesis, not on the Super Nintendo. And this game is, is it, it feels potentially complete. Ooh, yes. The value just shut up, boys. The value just shut up. Robocop, Terminator, Fester's Quest, Kid Cool. I wish I was as cool as that guy. Vester's Quest and Super C, the second Contra game. In my opinion, not as good as the original Contra, but a lot of people would argue with me on that. And then here is a stack of PS3. Looks like, well, PS3 and GameCube. Oh, dang, dude. I didn't even see this in here. No, dude, I have been eyeing that. The Thousand Year Door and it, dude, this, it feels, it feels heavy. 
this has to be, I think, around 100, right? I think it's around 100, I know. So we're looking at probably 150 to 200 right there, right here in this this little bundle. With that, That's amazing. And a couple other, oh, a couple other uh, GameCube games. So this, this looks like a really good lot. I think you did good, Will. Did you do this one? All three of us had a hand in it at some point. Well. I think they'll do great. They beat up Mario 64, and I'm guessing this is a PSP? Yes, and a PSP. So, now it's time to get all this in the system. It's gonna take some time, and me and Michael have to go clean upstairs, so that's it for this one.